We're on the moonlight top section of the Paparo Great Walk, working with a dock cruise today. We just set up our day basically, found a couple of problems sort of between us and the digger here, so yeah, it's about trying to problem solve before we hit the problems I guess. Looks like a beautiful sunny day today, but actually the guys up here have been working with their full gear on all the time, uh, wind layers, um, hats, the whole thing because it just is really cold. Because it's open tops, it's very, very visible from a long way off, so we've been quite conscientious about making that construction profile really low. Just trying to sort of remediate the whole edge where the track's gone through, so any parts that have been dug out, we'll just sort of flip them back over. Just plant them on the outside edge, try and minimise the scar that's seen. Construction's actually been going really, really well. Uh, there are two crews working up here. We've got one crew just here, and then the other crew's just up on the top of the hill. And they've been working towards each other for the last uh, couple of months, so they're about 200 metres apart now. So another big milestone. We're operating on three fronts. The Nelmac team that are working down in the Pike Valley have just completed one of the most technical sections of track. Uh, the West Reef crew on the on the other side of the hill, big milestone for them, they've just reached the Pororari hut. So that's almost the first section of track completed. So consistency's been a really big part of the project and in order to do that we make sure that the crews talk to each other. Um, digger operators, crew lead swapping information, just practical things that really help them go forward. building a rock culvert so uh, when the water comes down this hill and into this low point so it doesn't get muddy. Yeah it's epic eh? get to make something that's going to be here for a long time. Um, it's in my backyard as well, I'm from Punakaiki so yeah, epic place to work and very rewarding. There are a couple of sections where we've worked quite hard to get 360 degree views. It just winds and curves beautifully. So I didn't really see the scenery until I started coming up here for work. I mean, it's pretty amazing. You kind of come up a couple spots, some steep bridge, and then there's Mount Cook and uh, Point Elizabeth, the ocean. Uh, and then you look over to the Southern Alps and north up towards Kaharangi. So the element of discovery is tremendous for, for both riders and walkers. People will get blown away by what's here, but this is just the teaser for what's coming, what's coming next.